everyone as you can see I've drawn the design out on paper on tracing paper and what I've done I've just drawn half of it and then I've folded the paper in half and then using a pen I pierced all the holes all the way around the design so it's loads of little pin holes all the way around the design and by folding the paper in half you end up with the pinholes go through the other side and they're both exactly the same. So you only need to draw one side out and then the other side, it covers itself. And just to show you, there's the design now on the floor. We've uh, pounced it on a bit lively and put some aluminium on, just to show you, to give you an idea of how it's got to look. What will happen, these are the shields and the Union Jacks on, so when they're all butted up together, the shields go off between them. The shields are all finished now, and I'm quite pleased with them. But anyhow, I'm going to show you how to go on with these. Using a pounce pad, you fill it up with blue chalk, take the top off, fill it up with blue chalk, and then you're ready to go then. This method of pouncing the design on has been out for years and years. Right, that should do it. Now what I'll do is just use the airline just to blow the lights off. As you can see, the blue shorts gone through the design straight onto the panel, which I'm going to paint. For those of you who don't know, I've got 12 of these panels to do. And if you'd like to join me every day, I'm going to show you start to finish how to do it. Now what I'm using is aluminium paint and I'm using 
This is the number seven chisel made by AS Andover of London's, but you can buy these from Craft Masters. Getting the brush on, laying it flat, and twisting it to get round the curves. What happens is I'm painting this now with the aluminium paint and what will happen is once it's dry I'm going to go over the top with what we call special amber flam, special deep yellow and what happens is the deep yellow flam when it goes over the top uh, you get a gold look to it so everything now was aluminium, what you see, will be eventually deep yellow. Thanks for watching you lot. I'm going to carry on with these now and as I change different colours and different things I'm doing I will show you as and when the things are happening. So hopefully you'll keep watching all the videos and you will see the finished product at the end of the day. Thank you.